I return to the NPA at a time of crisis, not only for the organization, but also for the rule of law in South Africa. Without it, the country is on a slippery slope and the cancer of impunity festers and grows. The new National Director of Public Prosecutions seems steadfast in her desire to steer the ship through choppy waters. Advocate Shemela Butoy says she knows people are hungry for justice, as they have every right to be. This includes looking at the names of senior NPA officials mentioned at the state capture inquiry. Butoy is insisting prosecutors cannot be for sale and those without integrity will be rooted out. Serious allegations have emerged, some old, some new, but all damaging if they are found to have any basis in fact at all. What is emerging is distressing in the extreme and will receive immediate attention from me and my team. I will as soon as possible engage with relevant stakeholders, including the team at the Zondo Commission and the head of the SIU amongst others. The NPA has been plagued by allegations of political meddling, but the new sheriff in town is saying those days are over. When I was uh, finally, it was decided that I would be the president's preferred uh, candidate as far as this post is concerned, I did have a conversation with the president and I, and I said to him that, you know, I know it's guaranteed in the constitution, but I want you sitting here to give me that assurance. And unhesitatingly, the president said there will be no interference. Batoy is also saying she'll prioritize violent and gender-based crimes. There is simply too much to do. Samgele Masego, Pretoria.